When Kevin Shea bought property in Calverton, Long Island, and built this, this is what the neighbors said to him. You're okay. Can you imagine someone saying, you, you, you're okay. You're okay, but that house doesn't belong here. It's a home, it's a residential home. I live there. Why you don't? You know, I always wish I had an answer. I used to say temporary insanity, right? That's the first, you know, first thing that comes out of your mouth, you wanna be cute. And I say economic desperation or hope for feeling like I can raise my standard, but not pay the money that everyone's doing because I knew I couldn't. It all started in 1993 when Kevin saw an ad for a geodesic dome home building kit in the back of a popular science magazine. I was able to buy a kit to make 93,000 cubic feet of space for $11,000. The floor space is 3,760 square feet, just the first floor. Kevin built this house with some of his colleagues. He was a firefighter. Engine 40, ladder 35. And that was in Midtown, Manhattan. Midtown, Manhattan. Uh, and I was off duty when uh, the first uh, plane hit. But he ended up on the scene and suffered a broken neck and other injuries. A few years later, the fire department said, They said, your numbers are right for retirement. You can go now. And I was 30-something, 30 36. So I'm retired at 36. Felt bad a little bit, but... So um, that's what happened. And then this happened. So. The dome structure is properly called a truncated icosahedron. That's a scientific term for it. There are six different sized triangles that make up this dome. All made of sustainably harvested wood, Kevin says. In fact, one of the things that attracted him to the dome shape was... A geodesic dome has certain properties that allow you to live a more energy efficient life. You're going, oh, now I can be green and save money at the same time. So if you walk around, the greenness seems to be more of an organizing principle than an afterthought. I'm standing right now on two or three tons of recycled rubber crumb. You walk all the way across even to another thing that looks like shards of glass but is actually made from uh, fiber optic wire. Yeah, I guess you could say that I spent a lot of time and a lot of energy to make a garden out of 800 tires. Solar over there, 60, 60 panels. This is rated for an average home, uh, producing about 12,000 kilowatt hours per year. That's a lot. Not moving today, sorry about that. It produces about 383 kilowatt hours per year. Which wouldn't be close to enough energy for an average house. However, in my house, it's almost all my energy because I don't use as much. In the summer, the dome stays pretty cool, Kevin says. The hot hair rises. It goes up to the top. It cools off and it slinks over. Producing natural air currents. I also added a geothermal unit that's, um, I, I got the information on the internet and it's on the other side, it's a series of nine tubes underneath the ground. All I do is take the air from inside this home and I use a simple fan like that and shoot it through and by the time it comes back it's already cooled it off. In the winter, this is what Kevin uses to heat the dome. It's a wood pellet stove. He also has radiant heating in the floors, that's tubes of hot water. He also keeps it pretty cool. 55 in certain places, certain times of the year, feels good, right? Kevin's average energy bill is about six bucks a month. You know, defining independence and freedom is going to be very difficult. But when I look at the electric bills and I say I'm paying six thousand, you're complaining about the 150 to 300 dollars, but and the solution is there. I feel freer because I said, you know, I don't have to do this anymore. Just take some thinking outside the box. What do people say when they come over here? Two words, awesome or interesting. And that's good enough for me.